Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to review the two terms, linear pairs and vertical angles. So based upon what they gave us, which ones are linear pairs, they claim there's four of them, and which ones are pairs of vertical angles. Now linear pairs means that the two angles add up to 180 degrees, or I should say the measure of the two angles add up to 180 degrees. So basically a linear pair are angles that are supplementary. So in this case, the four linear pairs therefore are angle A and angle B. Because you can see that the measure of A plus the measure of B gives you 180 degrees. We can say that angle B and angle C also are linear pair because the two measures together, the measure of the two angles together gives us 180 degrees. And I think you begin to see the pattern that angle C and Angle D also are linear pair, and finally, angle A and angle D. So those are the four pairs of, or the four linear pairs. Now we're ready to find the two pairs of vertical angles. So what are vertical angles? Vertical angles are where their apex, the point of the angles, touch one another. The angles are opposite to one another and they have the same measure. So the measure of angle A is the same as the measure of angle C. They touch at the vertex and they're opposite to one another. That defines them as a pair of vertical angles. So therefore, we can say that angle A and angle C are a pair of vertical angles. And likewise, angle B and angle D is a pair of vertical angles. And that's how I can tell the difference.